Welcome to the Tiberius Show with your host, Tiberius Foy. That's me, Tiberius. Today we're going to talk about some very awesome stuff. We have a cool video game to talk about, a great book about making the world a better place, my bonus score report, and we got a totally awesome guest, the one, the only, Arjo Solis. Did I say that correctly? Yes, you did. Oh, Very good. I got that correctly that time. So, Al Jusol is an entertainer and artist of life. He has released a new music video last year. Thanks for being on the show. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me, Tiberius. It's awesome to meet you. Mm-hmm. Nice to meet you, too. So, today we're going to start off with the video game of the week, and this is going to be a good one. <laughs> And now it's time for the Video Game of the Week. Now it's time for the Video Game of the Week. Today's video game is Terra Tech. So I got this game a number of years ago when it was in beta and it has finally been released as an official game on the Steam platform. Steam is great and with this game you can play it on Windows, Mac and even Linux. So to start off, TerraTech is an open world sandbox adventure game where you get to design and build your own vehicle through a mix of craft, crafting, combat, and even exploration. You land on a hostile planet and you get to build your vehicle over time and get bigger and bigger. In single player mode, you can collect resources and sell them to get money to buy different parts. This allows you to grow your size and power. But you go against get stronger and stronger and have larger blocks on them. So first I will tell you about the parts. The first parts are just blocks. But you can get different kinds of weapons and shooters and grinders to missiles. Then you can get larger blocks and shields and even get and even repair nods. But they need power, so you get batteries and solar generations to in collectors. And that means you can so you can make small, fast vehicles or large, powerful ones. When you destroy another bot, you can take their parts and add them to yours. So that is a great way to learn about different parts. Once you discover a new part, you are allowed to buy that one again. Now my favorite part is the new multiplayer mode. This allows me to compete with my dad, and I love destroying his vehicle and making him start all over again. <laughs> You get to shoot off parts and then take them and add them to your own vehicle. So if you get really high up, you can get wings and now you have an air advantage. Dropping bombs on people is fun when they can't shoot you. My dad says he likes the game because it teaches something called mechanical engineering. In other words, it shows how to make things that move around and work. I give Terra Tech 10 out of 10 stars. This is a great fast paced game that I can play with my dad and his friends. And I love building large vehicles and running my dad over with it. The Type View Show would like to thank one of our dedicated sponsors, Custom Designs Orlando. These guys are on Mills Avenue and do all sorts of stuff, ranging from photo ID badges, engraved signs, custom braille ADA signs, vinyl littering, to trophies and awards. They can ship products all over the United States. You can reach them at 407-898-0373. Over 40 years, Playhouse Central Florida has provided education, independent life skills, and job training to thousands of Central Floridians who live with blindness or any degree of vision loss. Whether it's picking out clothes in the morning or just moving around your community and serving Orange, Seminole, and Osceola counties, contact Playhouse Central Florida at 407 407- or visit them online at playhousecfl.org. The Type Beard Show would like to thank one of our awesome sponsors, SlutChannelUS.com. These guys are very, very cool. They bring 21st century surface drainage solutions to reality. They can do corporate and government work. These are the guys that make roads and bridges safe in the rain. You can see all about them at SlutChannelUS.com. That website again is SlutChannelUS.com. And now we're all ready for the 
Book of the Week. And now it's time for the Book of the Week, Miss Rumpus. This book was written by Barbara Cooney. Let me read you the back of the book. In fact, I just saw. Would you do the honor? I would love to. Um, Tiberius, uh, once a long ago, Miss Rumpus was a little girl named Alice who lived in a city by the sea. When she grew up, she wanted to travel and see faraway places and then, be, and then uh, come home to live beside the sea, just as her grandfather had. But there was one thing more she had to do. What is that? Alice asked her grandfather, you must do something to make the world more beautiful, uh, he told her. Little Alice grew up to become Miss Rumpus, and a true to her promise to herself, she traveled all over the world. Then she came home to live in a house by the sea. Miss Rumpus was almost happy, but there was one more thing she had to do. Wow. So this story is about a girl named Alice that lives in a city by the sea with her grandfather. He's an artist that made the figureheads for ships. He told stories about his travels all over the world. So Alice said she wanted to travel all over the world as well as she went she wanted to travel all over the world like her grandfather. He told her she he told her that she needed to make the world more beautiful. So and she could not think of anything. She started to travel the world and saw all sorts of things. She rode camels and climbed the mountains and saw amazing places. When she got older, her back started to hurt. She decided to move to the city by the sea and plant her garden. She liked blue flowers called lupins. One year she was very sick and stayed in, and stayed in bed a lot. She was still trying to figure out how to make the world more beautiful when she noticed her flower seeds had blown all over the yard. She ordered lots of seeds from the best seed shop and walked all over the city throwing seeds around. The next summer there were lupins all over the city and it was much more beautiful. She would sit at home and talk with children telling them about her travels. One child said she wanted to do that too. She told her to be sure to do something to make the world more beautiful. That girl is the author of the book and she's thinking how about how she is going to do it. I give this book 8 out of 10 stars because this was an okay book but kind of slow. It was cool that she made the world a better place and then she left it. This is an AR book with a level of 3rd grade to 8th month. It's worth 0.5 points or half a point. So if you are looking for points for your, for your AR goal, then this is a great book to read. Today's just going to be so much fun. Today we have the one, the only, the amazing Alessandro Solis. Alessandro is a singer-songwriter as well as a movie producer and lover of the planet. So first off, how are you, so how are you enjoying being on the show? You know, I'm having such a great time. Uh, thank you so much for having me, Tiberius. I've been looking forward to meeting you in person. I've seen all your interviews, and uh, you're an excellent uh, human being. Uh, you're going to be, be uh, I mean, something uh, to my inspiration. I mean, I, I look uh, very up to you. <laughs> so what made you decide to be a lover of the planet? You know something? I started surfing, uh, uh, you know, 2006. I started traveling to Puerto Rico, the Caribbean, and I fell in love with the planet and the ocean and the animals. And, and I actually started surfing in Florida at 27 years of age. And uh, and I just fell in love with the, with the natural part of the earth and God's creation. And, and I want to I wanna try to protect what's left of it. So what is the best part about being a singer-songwriter? Well, you get to express yourself in, in another realm um, from feeling deep inside. Uh, like all my lyrics, I write them myself, and they have a story behind it. So you get to create your own story, and then when you shoot the video, you become a, a producer, uh, a director. You become you know many things in one. So it kind of helps me evolve in the artistic uh, 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 you know silver screen, like you may say. So I saw your video, Let's Twin. Do you still have that car? Do you know something? That car was a rented car. Uh, it's a Lamborghini. They go for like a hundred, uh, a hundred and ninety thousand to like three hundred and ninety. The new ones. So at this time, I can't afford to buy one. <laughs> but uh, I have a nice BMW though. <laughs> you can see. No, but the Lambo was an awesome experience. Um, I rented it. It was a thousand dollars for the day. What location was the video made in? 
Actually, I filmed part of it in Miami, um, and then the other part I filmed it in Puerto Rico with me surfing, actually, in the in the music video. You can see it online on my website, alessol.com, um, A-L-E-J-S-O-L.com. When you were a kid, what did you want to do when you grew up? Did you always know you were going to be a singer? You know, I always knew I was going to be a performer of somewhat because my grandpa was, uh, he, he performed music, uh, you know, at parties and stuff like that. I looked up to my grandpa a lot and he was very like a romantic guy and he, he just had a way with the guitar and his words and, you know, made people happy and smile and just that feeling he gave it to me and now I, I do the same thing with, with my music and my ability and I kind of pretty much knew when I was a, you know, young kid that, that I wanted to do music and then, uh, uh, at 14, I started writing my own uh, um, like poems and poetry, but I didn't know how to play guitar, so until later on in life, I started becoming a guitarist. It took many years. So, so, do you, so I see you have a guitar right here. Yes, I do. So was this made by your grandpa? No, unfortunately, I bought this at the Guitar Center here in Orlando um, a, a few years ago. Um, it's probably going on 15 years, this guitar, so I've, I've traveled with it to different places. All these stickers are places that I have been to. Uh, this is in Ecuador. This was my recent trip. Uh, Los Cabos San Lucas, Portugal in Europe. Um, this is a big wave surf spot in Mexico where the waves can get up to 30 feet. Uh, this is in uh, California where they have pro competitions. In Puerto Rico, I go there every year. I want to I wanna build a surf community one day. So like now as a singer, how often do you practice? Well, I used to practice three hours a day um, and until I couldn't feel my fingers. And now I practice about one every other day. But I, I always try to keep my voice active in the car, singing and, and, and trying to, you know, uh, transmute that, that power of the voice because this is another tool to, to perform with. So now if you sing and perform, you have the same kind of strings in your vocal cords. So you got to continue practicing all the time to be the best. So now that you have the guitar now, so can you play a song for me? I, of course. Um, actually, uh, this song is called West Wind. And uh, I wrote that song about the earth. It's a love song, but it also has a, a message behind it about the earth and about um, us not fighting, you know, these wars that we don't even know why we're fighting for. But uh, we need to change the way we think, the way we act, and, and what we're driving. Especially, you know, we have the power to have uh, electric cars and magnetic cars and solar cars, and it's just a, low pro a slow process. So West Wing's about that, and I uh, hope you guys like it. all over the ocean side the animals are dying you gotta help me 
You gotta tell all your friends, Tiberius, we gotta change what we're doing now. Make spacecrafts. We gotta go into outer space. There's over 3,737 planets with air now that has been discovered by Kepler, our telescope spaceship. Come on. We got to change what we're doing now. We got to liberate everybody from what they're thinking now. Hey, we're all one. We're all on the same planet. It doesn't matter where you're from. It doesn't matter what you're speaking. Hey, we're all one. West wind means change. Change the way you think. Come on now. And I just want to feel the west wind on my face As I drop in As I drop in ah, Thank you. I think you're pretty good. <laughs> Woo! And actually, yeah, good. you actually know a song that I wrote too because we were playing it at uh -huh. the break. You want to you wanna continue uh -huh. playing that song just a little bit mm -hmm. to show them? Okay, I, learned, I taught them how to play guitar real quick. So this song is the surf song. At least 10 feet long, it's made out of steel. Just in case, I gotta take a barrel on the head. Me llamo Alessoso de Mexico. A veces yo toco la guitarra como Jimmy Henry. Y me voy para Brasil con mi amigo Junior. Yeah, Tiberius Show, this is live rock and roll. That was cool. Give me five. That was good. Whoa. He learns quick. This guy's a genius. Uh -huh. This kid's a genius. So glad to be here. So my teacher says that I will use math every day. Do you use math when you work as a movie producer? Actually, uh, you do math in everything because you got to pay the people. You got to count your money. How are you going to pay them? You got to do your bank account, your statement account, your checking account. So yeah, yeah I deal with numbers daily. Okay, so if our listeners wanted to grow up being a top singer or songwriter, what advice would you give them? Um, I would say be original, practice, uh, don't copy, and uh, have a good foundation behind your, your success because if you become very successful without knowing how to handle your success, um, a lot of people fail in that aspect and they lose everything. They make a lot of money, but then they lose it all as well. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of people out there that's made millions and millions of dollars and have no money, zero, and they, 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 they can't make it back. I mean, you get one shot in this life, so you have to kind of, um, you know, make the best of it, but know how to also manage it um, and, and be surrounded with people that love you. And actually, uh, God is your best solution. Ask him for the advice and he will open doors for you. Hmm? Yeah. So is there anything else you think my listeners should know about you? Well, I just need help from all your followers. The adults of today don't have time to uh, like create things and make up uh, solutions to, to clean the environment. And I, I keep seeing pollution and plastic, and it's getting worse and worse and worse. And now it's even filtering into the USA. Um, we, we need to be more like Singapore. In Singapore, there is no trash on the floors in front of businesses. They will get fined. They will be put in jail. And I need you to uh, help me uh, make a consciousness uh, globally with all your friends and come up with ideas, creation, solutions, and spaceships. We need to go into outer space. Mm -hmm. That's what I think. Yes. So I need your help. Can you help? Uh-huh. Share the word. I will. Because on that field trip um, in two days, okay. I will do it. And and uh, and but also brainstorm with your friends and create machines and mm -hmm. things that's going to help us uh, protect the environment. Uh -huh. Whether it's robots, because uh, people are falling behind, robots are getting smarter, so we actually uh -huh. need robots to take over. So we want robots to pick up the trash for well, us, but no. we accidentally litter. Well, not accidentally. We need or the robots we, to then input. We see it, well, and then we see it. Something like that. But the robots need to put us in check because we're not taking care of this planet. So we need uh -huh. some kind of help, cybernetic help, or some kind of like uh, intelligent form to help us. So like if everybody had a robot, they were like, pick up 
your trash. Exactly, exactly. Like enforcers, yeah. you know? Pick up your trash. If not, you know, have you fine or, yep. or, or, you, or you get arrested. So, yeah. So, anyways, just ideas like this. Mm -hmm. And also, we need to think about space travel. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of new planets out there with air that's been discovered. So thank you so much, Elisa, for being my guest. Can you stick around for Math Corners? Of course. Thank you for having me. has been providing top quality fire equipment services for three generations to the Central Florida area. Don't wait for an emergency to repair. Call Mid State Fire today at 407-246-8855. Get your fire extinguishers and emergency lighting for both your home and businesses by visiting www.midstatefire.com. That number again is 407-246-8855. The Tribier Show would like to thank Boggy Creek Airboat Adventures for being one of our sponsors. I got to go on an airboat and saw a real gator. I even got to go to the gem mine and mine for some gems. We ate a steak dinner at the restaurant and even got some gator rights. If you want to have a blast with the entire family, I suggest you go to www.bcairboats.com right now to get your tickets today. The website again is bcairboats.com. Oak Ridge Gun Range is a family-oriented shooting range that has been in business for over 30 years. They specialize in basic firearm training and offer numerous services such as consignments, gun trades, gunsmithing, and concealed weapon classes. I even got my training for gun safety at Oak Ridge Gun Range. Great customer service and firearm safety is what they do best. So find out more at OakRidgeGunRange.com. Get ready, it's time for the Bowling Score Report! I'm at the Scotland on Saturday and I play with Vanessa, Mia, and MJ. I bowl the 70, a, 100, a 101, a 93 in the final game. I got to practice after, after the games to work on finding my new line with the new reactive ball. It has a slight curve to it, so I had to... So I have to move to the right to curve right into the pocket. So like, if I want to hit the head pin and get a strike, it would just go like forward, 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 and then it turns and then it hits the head pin. Wow. And that's the specifics of my reactive bowling ball. Cool. If you want to go bowling with me, be sure to join me at the AMF Youth League Saturdays at AMF Guys on OBD at 10 a.m. in the morning, bro. Tiberius' favorite subject, it's Math Corners! And now it's time for Math Corners. Thank you, Ed, so for helping me with Math Corners. Today we're going to talk about mode. If you know what mode is. <laughs> yeah. So, this week we're going to talk about series of numbers. This is a list of numbers, and for today's discussion, we will keep it to just whole numbers. So, a list would be 2, 5, 2, 3, 2, 4, 5. Now we have to find the mode just of this list or series. The mode is the number that appears most often in a set of numbers. So if you have a list of random numbers, whichever number is listed the most is the mode. Now there are a few things to know. So if there are, so if no number is listed more than once, then there's not a mode. So also if two numbers appear most most often, then there can be two mode answers. So first, let's take some steps to find the mode. So first, list the numbers from lowest to highest. For our list, it would be two, 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 three, four, five, five. So you can see two was listed three times and five was listed twice. So the mode would be which ones appear most often, so that would be two. Now, if the the list included an extra five, then the mode would be both two and five. 
So it is important to list the numbers from smallest to largest to, to assume you will get to go over other things like mean, median, and range. So, but those for, are for another show, okay. So having the list easy to work on with is important because we have sorted it and we are able to quickly tell when a number is listed more than once. So if we have a list like 12, 13, 10, 14, 13, 10, 11, 10. The mode wouldn't be 10 because that was listed three times. So, Aldisol, do you now know what the mode of a list a series is? Yes, I do. So yeah. let's say let's say I have a, a, a list of, of, of numbers, of uh, uh -huh. modes. It would be, uh, my list would be 4, 4, 4, 2, 1, 5, 5, Four, four. So which one would be the 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 mode number? Four because four was listed five times. But yeah, that's it. That's all the fours. And then five, five. As you can see, four was listed five times, and five was listed two times. So the mode is four. Is your answer? You got it. Thank you, Aljuso, for your help with Math Corners. Welcome. Thank you. Uh -huh. That was cool. And now it's time for Heart of a Lion. We at the Tiberius Show like living with the heart of a lion. Living with the heart of a lion stands for leadership, integrity, obedience, and nobility. We asked Dr. Ferret exactly what that means. Leadership is really about influence. Leadership is, and the way we define it as good leadership, is about setting the right example and encouraging other people to do the right thing. Integrity is about doing right no matter what. Through life there are a lot of different circumstances that arise, and integrity, someone who shows integrity, it doesn't matter what all the external things are, they always choose to do what is right. Obedience is about Obeying those who are in authority over you, whether that's a teacher, a boss, a parent, that when you are asked to do something, that you respond with obedience, quickly and completely. Nobility is about having respect. It's about carrying yourself with respect and showing respect to others. When you put these four things together, that's Lion Strong. This week we're going to talk about obedience. For me, I think obedience is being fully committed to doing what is pleasing to God. The qualities of obedience are compliance with a good attitude and respect for the laws. You know when someone is obedient, when they follow his instructions willingly or thoroughly. So this week I had a hard time with obedience. I got three check marks at school because I was not being considerate of others or following the rules promptly and not being a good active listener. I did said I would have consequences for getting check marks that I needed to be responsible for my actions. So I did not get any computer and I had to turn up through all my toys and get rid of the old toys that I don't play with anymore. It took the whole weekend. Wow. The whole weekend. Also, I could earn back the computer if I did two, three IXL sections. I really did not want to do it, but I was obedient and did my IXL sections and cleaned up my room and sorted my toys. So, Aldisol, did you see our use obedience at all this week? Um, yeah, I had to use obedience. I was at the airport. Hmm? So I had to, uh, you know, be in, walk in the line, uh, uh -huh. you know, take my hat off this, off that, off to get checked through the checkpoints. So about the heart of the lion virtues, which is your favorite? I like the integrity, but uh, those two are, are uh, pretty important. So that's awesome. And that's our show, folks. I want to thank the one, the only, out of general students for being my special guest this week. You have been awesome, and I hope we can see you perform in, in person someday soon. Thank you. It was a great show. Um, you're awesome. Thank you for your, for your help. And be sure to listen to us next week on the Top Barriers Show with your host, Top Barriers. The Tiberius Show is not filmed in front of a live studio audience. Executive producer, Joseph Boyd. Production editor, Pierre Laguerre. Green Room manager, Danny Boyd. Broadcast associate, James Smith. And your program host, Tiberius
Boy! The Tiberius Show is copyright 2018.